welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my haul, um, I should say hauls, my multiple hauls videos because I have not been able to film so I didn't film, I don't think I filmed one for the end of July and so this is July and August combined and uh, we did a lot of damage while we were gone because we were shopping but we weren't filming so yeah, you guys, I'm going to have to break this up. I already know because I was going to do like just the stuff I got from Sephora, but I started ordering stuff from Sephora even before the sale. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start and I'll try and keep them like 15 minutes each so they're not like ridiculous. So the first thing is what's on my lips. It's the Huda Beauty Demi Matte lip in the shade mogul um i was really really curious to try these but i have so many lipsticks so i didn't want to buy them without getting a discount and yeah i have worn this once or twice so far today was my first full day wearing it i like it when it's like really creamy like right now because i just put it on it's pretty creamy um once the glossiness wears down you still have like a matte lipstick on your lips um it does dry feel dry a little bit um but it's not unbearable i'm a huge fan of huda's matte lipsticks so i was excited to try this formula and i know a lot of people really are enjoying these more like satin lipsticks um i'm kind of still deciding how i feel i wish she had more brown nudes I bought another shade from her as well. I'll show you. It's in this basket here somewhere. But I feel like both the nudes I picked up aren't brown enough and I really want like more of a brown lip. So if you guys have tried this, let me know if there is a shade that I should pick up that's more of a brown nude instead of like a pinky nude. And this packaging, she like slays. I'm so excited. For her new releases, oh my gosh, she's doing concealer and those like mini palettes. Oh my god, like I want all of it. I do, I just do. So something to look forward to. This I picked up on the sale as well. I had actually bought this set originally from Briogeo. This is their uh, Be Gentle, Be Kind, Kill Apple Replenishing Superfood Conditioner and Shampoo. Oh my god, you can get this in a set, you guys. I love the shade green, which is mostly why I bought this. I feel like I can't find a high-end shampoo that works with my greasy scalp to save my life. So I had posted a picture on my stories using that and then Briogeo commented. So then I told them, hey, what do you guys have? For oily heads <laughs> which is what I have and they suggested this Briogeo Blossom and Bloom ginseng biotin volumizing shampoo no sulfates no silicones no parabens so I'm gonna try this I only tried it once so far and it smells amazing and I didn't want to buy the bigger size because I swear I just have not found a shampoo and conditioner that works for me I found one at the drugstore it's a L'Oreal one that's the clay one. Oh my gosh that one stops my hair from getting greasy uh, for like a couple of days which is amazing and it's a drugstore product but I'm kind of excited to find one that's high-end so we'll see how it goes I'm not sure every time I use a high-end shampoo and conditioner the first time it's great like my hair doesn't get greasy for a couple of days and then the more I use it it's like my hair just gets used to it and then it's game over so if you are a hairdresser or like a person that does hair that has suggestions for me, leave them in the comments down below. I just rambled on about shampoo for way too long, but that is my story and I just wanna keep you guys in the loop. Scored these on a Sephora um, Weekly Wow. They're the Sephora number 40 um, drying detail precision brush. I bought two because they were pretty freaking affordable. And the reason I bought these is because I wanna get into more liners and I actually bought a bunch of the Suva Beauty Hydra liners. They're water activated. I will show that probably in my next haul video because like I said I'm just going to try and portion it out. Um, so that's what I bought those for. As you can see I haven't used them yet because I was kind of like saving everything in boxes um, so that I wouldn't like lose track of all the stuff I had bought. Yeah I know. It's it's a real struggle over here. Um, the other thing I did get is my lemonade palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Here is what it looks like. Obviously, I bought this on her site before I came to Sephora, so I didn't get a discount on it, which I'm kind of bummed about. I should have I should have just held out. Anyway, I actually I want to do like 
a quick like first impressions on this stuff um so maybe i'll save that for another video but i actually like this palette i have a lot of thoughts on it i think it's good i'm actually really impressed with it and this is a sleeve so yeah check it out if you guys are interested in that i also picked up this guy this was actually sold out on sephora.com for freaking ever and of course the day i bought it it restocked of course but i bought this in store in minneapolis because me and my like one of my best friends we went to the beyonce concert in minneapolis minnesota it was amazing on the run tour god i can't talk so i i was like you know what there was just like one left and i grabbed it and literally the website i felt like restocked like the very next day i feel like this is now like a souvenir to that concert and that little girl's trip so super cute i was not gonna get this i was one of those people that was like outraged by the fact that she like repackaged it and started reselling it but i have two friends netby and nisha i believe they both bought the remastered and netby for sure has been like raving about the new one and she bought the old one with me we both got them around the same time and yeah we were both just annoyed but she's been talking about how good that palette is and she totally suckered me in and then the other day i placed an alta order and i have been eyeing this milani blush palette because I've never tried the rose powder blushes and I just thought this was such a great way to try out the formula. I am a huge fan of Milani. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore brands and this packaging was so cute. So I picked this up, have not used it yet. So I'm excited to let you guys know how this works out. I also picked up this nail polish color from Essie. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but this is their new fall, one of their new fall shades and it's called Fall for New York or NYC and I thought this was a yellow. I feel like on camera it's going to look yellow, but it's actually like a peach. And I don't know. I've been really, really into kale polish lately. So I'm contemplating actually returning this because this color was not the color I was expecting. I was expecting like a mustard. And this is more of a peach color. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But anyway, so when I placed that Alta order with that stuff I just showed you, the reason I placed the order was actually to buy the Emily Noel palettes. So this is the Emily the Wants palette and this is the Needs palette. I actually follow, subscribe to Emily Noel, but her palettes, this you guys are going to hate me. So I actually don't really enjoy the brand Makeup Revolution. I used to buy a lot of their stuff when I was in college and I couldn't really afford to spend too much money on makeup. Um, and so, I don't know, this came out during all the YouTube drama and everyone was just like, oh my gosh, like Emily is such a great YouTuber, which she is, she's always stayed true to herself. Her, re her reveal video was so fun to watch and I was so proud of her and I was like, oh my god, girl boss, yes, give it to me, give it to me, so I bought it. I remember watching the reveal video and thinking like, oh my gosh, that looks just like the Lorac Makeup Pro 4, I think. And I know Emily's talked about how much she loves that palette. So I don't know. I'm kind of like, I feel like it's unopened. I should just return it because I, I, I feel really bad. I feel like I just like bought it to like support her. And I'm just like, Karen, can your bank account afford to support buy things? Even though she is an amazing YouTuber and is so, so talented. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Should I just hold on to it and review it for you guys? I just don't feel like I'll use it. And I've kind of heard mixed reviews. I, I mean, I think it's just the regular Makeup Revolution formula, which I already know I'm kind of not really a fan of, but I'm really, really con conflicted. And I feel like this is gonna be a very unpopular opinion, but I just wanna be honest with you guys because you know what, it's my channel. So let me know what you guys think should i keep it should i just like suck it up and return it because it was my fault and i shouldn't have just like impulse bought something but yeah that's kind of how i felt that day so yeah let me know what you guys think next thing i bought oh my gosh i can't wait to get this in my master bath this is the kale green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser from youth of the people i actually bought where is it oh i put it on the floor over there the it's that, like, I'll put a picture of it up here. It's, like, a cleanser that so many people recommend from Target. And I swear, that's the only thing I change in my skincare routine. And my skin is a hot mess right now. So, 
I wanted to find something cheaper than this because it's a $38 bottle. And you know what? I screwed myself over, so I bought this. This is my morning face wash. So when I wash my face in the morning, this is the one I use. And it honestly did last me for freaking ever, so I don't know why I like questioned it. So during the appreciation sale, I just picked up a backup, and I'm so excited to have this back, and hopefully my face will just go back to normal. And this is just like a very gentle cleanser, and it comes in a glass bottle like this. And again, I told you guys I'm obsessed with green, so... I tried it and I actually enjoy this product, so I'm happy to have it back in my collection. While we're on the topic of skincare, I want to show you guys another item that I wasn't planning on picking back up, but I really like this stuff. This is a simple micellar water for sensitive skin and it's under $10. It is an amazing makeup remover, guys. I use this around my eyes. I think you can even use this as a toner, but yeah, I just like how it removes my makeup and instantly hydrates and it's just good and you get a ton of it so I would even say is this kind of like Bioderma I've never actually used Bioderma but I love this stuff and yeah I just wanted to let you guys know if you're looking for an affordable product that one is great mm -hmm. now I want to show you guys the foundation I'm wearing today this is the Dior backstage face and body foundation in 4.5 warm I actually was worried this was too dark for me, but it's actually the foundation I have on today, and I really like it. It is quite long-lasting. This is quite the impressive foundation, and they actually have quite a few shades. Love this packaging when we're at the bottom, like trying to get out more foundation, but it's so cute for travel and stuff. It's very compact. You do get 1.6 wood ounces, which is great, and has a 12-month shelf life. I just love how natural it looks. It's not cakey. On my skin I really 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 like it let me see if there's any interesting claims on here it says it's an ultra buildable coverage with a second skin finish which is so true adapts to every zone of the face and body its versatile texture offers an array of finishes from fresh natural with one layer to a sophisticated couture look in three layers extreme condition proof thanks to an invisible mesh on skin the formula resists workout sessions water extreme Temperatures and humid environments. Photo ready natural glow finish. Enriched with beauty enhancing pigments, the formula fuses with skin that glows for a perfect natural complexion in real life through and through the camera lens. So yeah, I really like this. I think I might get another shade of this for the winter months. But yeah, this is a really good foundation and this is... I don't know, I try foundations quite often and I don't end up liking most of them, but this one's actually so far the two times I've worn it, including today, and I've worked a whole day when I'm filming this because it's 7.30 at night and I put this on like 7.30 this morning, so that's pretty legit if you ask me. And I didn't touch up, I mean I used my blender from this morning to just kind of like smoothen out like from wearing sunglasses and stuff, but... I don't know, I really like it, and yeah, so far it's like a winner. Two things I bought from Sol de Janeiro. I wanted to try this, the Brazilian Bod Buff. This just sounded really good. It is an exfoliator, and it's a smoothing scrub and mask for Touch Me Now Brazilian Babe Skin. I was excited for this because I feel like a lot of body scrubs come in a pot, and you have to like dig your hand into it, specifically the ones by Tree Hut, which smell amazing, but they are fucking high maintenance, so... I'm excited to have something in like an easy squeezy tube and then I have the dry speed in the world so I bought the Foot Fetish Care Brazilian Sol de Janeiro foot cream so yeah we'll try it out and see I haven't broken into these yet so that's why I'm making this video so I can move on with my freaking life because god I'm a hoarder. Okay uh, next thing I want to show you guys is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I am so excited to try this. I am on like a loose powder freaking kick lately. I got the shade Blondie, which I feel like a lot of people with my skin tone have purchased, and I feel like this is going to be really good for baking. I was watching Netney's Instagram stories, and she said she really thinks that this, you know, formula is good for dry skin, and I trust that girl, so yeah, I'm excited. Dip dense brush or beauty sponge into powder net pack. Oh, this is so cute. I know she got in trouble for stealing beauty bakeries, like, concept, but... We also live in the age where people are doing sponsored videos with Shop Hush, which is also like ripping people off. So I love how people get all like up in arms about like Huda Beauty 
but then they'll still do like shop hush videos so i don't know that's my take on it <laughs> and then here's the other color i got from the demi mats from huda it's called shika i don't know is that how you say it oh my gosh so yeah this is another pink and i really oh god i just dropped it in the trash <laughs> i really want like a more brown shade so if you know a more brown shade in that formula let me know and then i want to show you guys this oh my gosh this was like Okay, so my giveaway that's on my channel, did I mention there's a giveaway on my channel? It's on my ColourPop video, and one of the ways to enter the giveaway is to leave a comment telling me your favorite eyeshadow palette of the moment. And do you guys know how many people have talked to me about this freaking palette, and I didn't even want to buy it, but so many people talked about how good it is, so I fucking did it because I got a discount, so... I'm going to try it out. You guys better pray that I like it because, like, literally, like, Kelly Gooch. Freaking, I have a subscriber. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean freaking like I'm mad about it, but I have a subscriber named Tracy. She's been talking so much about this palette, and I was like, you know what? I need I need to see what this is about. I feel like a lot of people have been saying Urban Decay has done some good things with their formula. So I bought it. Here it is. Okay, I'm guilty. Let me know. If you guys are interested in a review on this, I'm going to review it anyway. Honestly, I don't know why I keep asking you guys if you want reviews. It's going to happen. Might be next year, but it's coming. Okay, guys. So the last few things I picked up for my Sephora Appreciation Event like haul are actually all eye stuff. I got on my Instagram stories and talked to you guys about how my under eyes just look so like ashy, blah, blah, blah. And I got a lot of really good feedback from a lot of my friends that are makeup artists and stuff like that, which was really awesome. I really appreciate that. And I even watched, actually, just today, Nethmi has a video on her Instagram TV, IGTV, about how she does her makeup in her under eyes, and that was super helpful. Basically, the only way to combat the ashiness is to color correct, and that's something I don't do. But I actually have one of the Urban Decay color correctors, so I did notice as soon as I did color correcting, my under eyes didn't turn as ashy. Um, but a few things I saw in other people's like uh, Sephora sale recommendations video, this one I totally credit to Mel. Um, she mentioned this in her video, and this is not something I would have ever freaking bought. Because I thought this product was so gimmicky, but it's the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. And she just talked about how this kind of like brightened, like hydrated her under eye, but not overly hydrated. And I was like, okay, I need to try that. So I bought it. I've been using it actually every day since I got it. And it's awesome. I love it. So yeah, I really appreciate that recommendation from her. And I believe she also recommended all these other things. So this, of course, my other friends have recommended too to me. This is a Tatcha, the Pearl, which do you guys, have you guys seen the movie Skyscraper with rock, The Rock? There's a reference to the Pearl there. Um, and I just love Tatcha because they're so lux luxurious. And so I'm so excited to have this. I feel like I'm holding like the Philosopher's Stone or something. Like it's just so amazing, even though it's like a little pot of like magic. Um, again, we talked about how to use this in your under eyes. And so I'm super pumped to stick this baby under my eyes and see if it helps brighten my under eyes. Um, but yeah, really, it just, doesn't it just look like it's, I don't even know, like it's going to be like a spy capsule or something. It's just, it's so fancy. Like, it's bougie AF, you know what I mean? And it's actually tinted, but she said it's an under eye treatment. It's not a concealer, so it's not going to color correct, blah, 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 blah. So, I like it. I like it. I'm so excited. Okay. This is also in a billion people's recommendations videos. I actually have the, the moisturizer of this, but this is the eye cream. This was a little bit pricey, but there's a lot-ish product in here. I don't actually know. This is how much product you get, so the packaging is kind of deceiving. But this is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. And I'm excited to try this because a lot of people said it was really good at hydrating their under eyes. So we'll try it out and see. And then the last thing I just picked up on a whim, I don't even know if I really expect this to work, but it's the first Aid Beauty Kona Eye Stick for hydrating, depuffing, and priming. And this just looked convenient AF. Like, if you're in a hurry, you just kind of like, oh my god, this packaging. You just kind of like, you just kind of like grab your little stick, your little Kona stick, and you're like, you know, and then you're like, 
and then you're like Ch -ch 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 -ch. so <laughs> we'll see if this does anything i don't really have the best of luck with first aid beauty but i used to really like their moisturizer and if you're like balling on a budget and you live in a cold climate the first aid beauty like hydrating moisturizer cream is really really good for that so definitely go ahead and try that out so i'm gonna cut this video here and i'm gonna film i don't know if I, it's it might take me three to get all the products i bought in the last two months in a video so try not to judge me and i love you guys so much and i will catch you in the next one bye